Hello and welcome back to the Making Hope Happen series. I am Lori Mage. This is day 52 in the Making Hope Happen series. In today's video, we are going to quickly review Lenny Basham's mental management system. We're gonna connect it to the HOPE model, connect it to Bridges change model, and then as a bonus, I didn't mention this yesterday, but we're gonna connect it to James Clear's awesome three-part model for building habits that comes from his great book, Atomic Habits, and we're also gonna connect it to the hero's journey. The goal today is to help us make the connections between all of these great teachers, these high performance coaches, all of these awesome models that we can be using to help us navigate our changes, to master our transitions, and to make our dreams come true. So pick the one that resonates most with you and go rock it. First up, we have Lenny Basham's mental management system. There's three parts to this bad boy. Do you remember what they are? I'll give you a hint. We've got a C, we've got an SC, and we've got an SI. The C stands for conscious mind. The SC stands for subconscious mind. And the SI stands for self image. The question we want to ask ourselves here is, what do I want to win at by when? This is the game we're playing. We wanna define what it is we're going for. The book is called With Winning in Mind. So what do you want to win? This happens in our thinking conscious mind. And this is where we build the picture of what success looks like. The subconscious mind, this is all about skill. This is all about your power to bring what it takes to win at this particular game. This is built over time consciously. We use our conscious mind to build our talents, to build our strengths, to build our stamina. And when it comes to performing in the moment, on the field, in the boardroom, at home, in the kitchen, you name it, then we let go of thinking and we let the automated training show up to help us perform at our best so we can win. The SI is our self image. Our self image is the picture we hold of ourselves. It's what we think we are capable of. If our self image doesn't expect us to win at this game, it doesn't matter how skilled you are, you will never outperform your self image. Your self image needs to match your skills and your expectations of what you want to win at. Your self image is constantly in dialogue with the conscious mind. It's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If your self-image is, I'm not the kind of person that wins World Cups, your conscious mind will limit your unconscious behaviors and skills, and you will not win at the game you're trying to win. Once again, we have, what do I want to win at? What is it going to take to win? What are the skills and attitudes I need to develop and the power I need to develop to be able to win at this game? Do I expect myself to win? Do I believe that I'm worthy and capable of winning this game? Now, let's connect this to the three-part HOPE model. All right, the HOPE model, the science of hope. Hope matters and it matters a lot. If we wanna feel fully alive and engaged in our lives, we gotta have hope. And we're not talking about naive hope, we're talking about practical hope, hope that actually can take place. There's three aspects to the HOPE model. We've gotta first have goals, second, we gotta have agency. We gotta believe in our ability to close the gap between where we are and where we want to be. And the third aspect of hope, pathways. This is how we're going to actually close the gap between where we are and where we wanna be. What do I want? Do I believe I can achieve it? What am I gonna do every single day to make that happen? Now let's connect it to the mental management model. Goals, that all has to do with our conscious mind. This is what do I want, right? So this is conscious mind. This is your conscious thinking. This is your target. This is the game that I want to win. This is the trophy I want to obtain. The second aspect of the mental management model is our subconscious mind. This is our habits of thinking, our habits of behaving, our habits in the language we use. This is all our subconscious mind. And the way that we're gonna close the gap in the HOPE model is by performing. It's about showing up every single day and staying on the path and executing on the path. So the pathway is really our subconscious thinking. And the third aspect of the mental management model is our self image. Do we expect ourselves to win? Do we expect ourselves to achieve this particular goal? And that has everything to do with agency. So that's the connection between the HOPE model 
in Lenny Basham's mental management system. Next up, we have the Bridges Change River. This is the transitional model of change. That change is an event, but transition is where we actually turn the change into a reality. To help us manage change, we can refer to it as a river. We have a bank over here. This is the river, and this is the other side. This is once change has been implemented. This is the event that we've decided that change is going to happen. This is the transition that we go through, building new habits, building new skills, building new ways of thinking, behaving, and doing until we create the new. So there are three aspects of the Bridges model. We have endings. This is where it all begins. This is when we've decided a change has to take place. Grieving is often associated with endings. We're saying goodbye, we're letting go of old ways of thinking, old ways of relating, old ways of doing things. This can even mean saying goodbye to loved ones. This can be saying goodbye to an organization you worked for. It could be saying goodbye to the old version of you. The second aspect of the change model is the neutral zone. The neutral zone is hard. You're in the middle of the river. You're getting tossed around. You're getting thrown around. As you learn new skills, as you develop new relationships, you build new habits. The neutral zone is hard work. We're trying different pathways in the neutral zone. We're trying to develop those subconscious behaviors, those subconscious ways of thinking and doing and relating to one another. That's the neutral zone. And we're working our way across the river to the other bank, which is new beginnings. There's a new you. There's a new world. There's a new way of doing things. You've adopted a new habit and the, the new becomes, starts to become the old. This is the three aspects of the Bridges change model and how it connects to the conscious mind, subconscious mind, and self-image of the mental management system from Lenny Basham. As a bonus today, we're gonna bring in James Clear's Atomic Habits, his three-part model of habit building, and apply it to this as well. James Clear says there's three parts to building a really great habit. And the way that we can visualize the habit building process is three circles that are intertwined. The outer layer is the outcome that you're going for. This is what you're trying to achieve. The second layer is the processes that you're going to implement to help you achieve your outcome. And the inner circle, James calls this identity. James argues that most people focus on process and outcome. And because of that, they don't build behaviors that last. He says the biggest lever to pull is your identity, that you're the kind of person that actually just does this thing always. An example he gives in his book is, I wanna quit smoking. He says it doesn't matter what strategy or what your daily process is to quit smoking. If you don't change the fact that you, how you see yourself, that you see yourself as a smoker, even if you get the change to last for a little bit, you're not gonna be able to sustain it. True long-term behavior change happens from the inside out. We become a non-smoker. We are a runner. We don't just do one marathon, we become a runner. That's who we are. And the natural consequence is we win at the game we wanna win at. Sound familiar? You bet, let's tie it back to the other models right now. So when it comes to Atomic Habits, James Clear's three-part model, let's put it on this model. We've got outcomes, we've got processes, and what do we got here? Identity. So that's James Clear's model. Now the hero's journey. Once again, the hero's journey has three parts to it. Part one, departure. Part two, initiation. And part three, the return. The departure is the call to the adventure. And through the initiation, this is where all the battles are won. This is where Luke Skywalker le learns to be Luke Skywalker. This is where he develops confidence and new skills before he returns carrying back the boom. Now let's connect that back to the big picture. So the hero's journey all begins with a departure, a call to the adventure. This is where we're gonna have to say goodbye to the endings. We're gonna have to say goodbye to the old way of living, the old way of behaving, the old way of doing. And we departure and we enter into initiation. And this is where all the new skills, all the new habits, all the new ways of behaving and relating, this is where we meet our mentors. We meet our hero buddies along the way. It's through this river of change 
that we end up returning a new person, returning with new skills, new confidence, and we've achieved our goal. And that covers the hero's journey. This is the big picture connection between Lenny Basham's mental management system, where we have our conscious mind, our subconscious mind, and our self-image, the hope model, which includes goals, pathways, and agency, the bridges change a river that before we get to new beginnings, we've got to go through the neutral zone and we've got to say goodbye and grieve the things that we're leaving behind. In addition to that, we're changing our behaviors, we're building new habits, and James Clear's three-part module says we need to have outcomes, we need to have processes that lead to those outcomes, but most importantly, we need to upgrade our identity. We need to become the kind of person that that outcome is just a natural byproduct of who we are. And the final one is the hero's journey, where it all begins with a departure, where we say goodbye to the old way of doing things, we move into the initiation, we fight battles, we overcome rapids, we go down waterfalls, we meet new friends and mentors, we build new skills and habits of thinking, doing, and behaving, and we build new confidence too. We return as a new person, a new you, a new world emerges because of what you've been through. Well, that's it for day 52. I hope you got value today. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Share this with others you think would get value from it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell right now. I'll be back tomorrow as we explore more of Lenny Basham's mental management system to help us navigate those changes, master those transitions, and make our dreams come true. Have an awesome day, and I will see you tomorrow.